Did you know that only about 43% of your cells are human? You heard me, only 43% of your cells are human. Well, Katie, how could this be? I look human, I feel human. Well, your greater half is comprised of cells much smaller than human cells, and they're invisible to the human eye. Rightfully, these microscopic cells are called microbes and include species of bacteria, archaea, protists, and fungi. These microbes have made themselves at home on and inside of your body. Take a look at your hands, for instance. Each square centimeter of your skin on your hands is home to about 1,500 bacterial cells. But please don't let these microbial beings scare you. Scientists are realizing every day that these bacteria and other microorganisms are very important for human health. For instance, let's take a look at another microbial community. Most microbes in your body live inside the warm, nutrient-rich ecosystems of your intestine. But they aren't just hitching a free ride. Your gut microbiota help your body digest food and release nutrients that your human cells simply cannot. In addition to helping your digestion, we now know that these gut microbes are important for educating the immune system and keeping your body healthy. This diverse community of microorganisms isn't in a constant state. Much like populations of plants and animals in a rainforest, the populations of microbes in your body are highly dynamic and respond to changes in the environment as well. General antibiotics, for instance, could be thought of as a forest fire, completely eliminating many bacteria inside of your gut. But these antibiotics may be really important when you've caught a bad bacteria that's making you sick. On the other side, a healthy, balanced diet, rich with fiber and other nutrients, help feed the beneficial bacteria and encourages them to grow. Well, why does this all matter? My research investigates how the bacteria that live in our gut affect our brain. Yes, our brain. The gut bacteria are not only important for digestion and educating the immune system, but also for helping your brain function properly. They can do this by producing different metabolites and sending signals directly to the neurons and other cells in your body that can carry messages around and up to your brain. In doing so, these bacteria in your gut can influence how neurons in your brain are born and grow and mature. This process of neurogenesis is disrupted in certain disease states and disorders such as depression or aging-related cognitive decline. Interestingly, the community of gut microbes are also impacted in these states. By studying this further, we're beginning to understand how we might be able to target the gut microbiota by diet or other interventions to improve our brain health. Now, that's some food for thought.